In this class we're going to talk about intellectual property. We're going to start by looking at copyright. Copyright protects a wide variety of material including uh, writing, artwork, music, films, computer program, um, broadcast material and all design and original work. So copyright is a protection for the owners, the original owners of that work and it cuts across many different formats as we've just seen. It's felt only fair that the people who originally do the work should benefit from their efforts. So they're given a legal right to maintain ownership of that work and to stop others from copying or using it for commercial purposes normally but to stop others gaining from their efforts without payment. So therefore an artist let's say who um, paints a picture it's not right that someone should say take a, a picture take a photograph of that picture and then gain uh, from uh, from sales of postcards or of uh, greeting cards or whatever that contains that artwork. They didn't do the original work. So the artist who did the original work should benefit. And copyright attempts to protect the originator of the uh, the piece of work, whoever it was. If it's a writer protecting his or her uh, writings from being used and abused. So, for example, uh, it would be wrong to take a popular book in one country and go to another country where uh, perhaps there were very lax laws and photocopy the book and sell it. That's cheating. It's, it's unfair. And copyright prevents this abuse within the UK, but also within many other countries many many countries subscribe to this idea that the originator of the work should benefit. So copyright belongs to the creator and applies from the time of the creation. The copyright symbol that we often see uh, is not necessary for protection. It indicates that the owner of the work is determined to try and protect his or her work from copying or from duplication or distribution uh, which is not approved. But the actual symbol itself is not necessary. Uh, the work is protected without such a symbol. Generally copyright um, applies to permanent copies and material placed on the internet. So books for example are copyrighted um, but also material that's placed on the internet if um, if someone writes a very good article and publishes it on the internet then that is copyrighted of course it's very difficult to protect the uh, the piece of work because it will be available in many countries throughout the world so it'll be very difficult to police it but it is protected. Screen displays and temporary RAM storage are not regarded as copies but downloading to a hard drive and printer does count as a copy. So simply keeping something on a on a, a volatile storage medium uh, that does not uh, constitute copying but downloading it, downloading a file, downloading a piece of music for example and uh, keeping it uh, to a hard drive and that, that is a violation of copyright. The artist, the musician in this case, owns the original uh, music and they are entitled to a reward for their efforts in composing that. So it's wrong to copy music, it's wrong to copy films, 
it's wrong to simply take down this information and use it because it does not belong to the people taking it down. Infringement of copyright occurs when material is used without permission of the owner. That's when the infringement is comes into play. It's when material is used without permission of the owner. If the owner is selling the material, let's say online, and it's possible to subscribe to the site, and if you subscribe you're entitled to download it, that's acceptable because the owner has agreed to it. But simply taking material without, uh, without permission, that's what is uh, being protected by copyright law, to stop that from happening. Some copying is permitted in the case of research and academic pursuits, and only when a proportion of the material is used. So academic institutions can take a certain proportion, let's say, of a book, without breaking copyright, because uh, it's felt that academic institutions are not uh, making a profit out of this. They are promoting education and probably also promoting the reputation of the book. So books, articles, downloads used for academic purposes will be treated uh, slightly differently. There's also patents, or some people say patents. Well, patents are protection on inventions and on uh, methods of working or on uh, particular innovations. A patent is an exclusive right to produce a device, a substance, a method or process that is new, inventive and useful. So a patent applies to something that's new, perhaps um, a component, an electronic configuration of chips and, and various uh, components within something which enables it to do a particular task that would be perhaps pa patented. Um, some way of engineering something that nobody has done before, that could be patented. That means that anyone who wants to use that in the future will have to pay royalty to the person who holds the patent or get their permission. So this normally applies to objects, physical objects, normally objects which enter the consumer market, could be the, the uh, producer market, um, so maybe um, some computer manufacturer comes up with some new way of doing something and they'll have a, a patent on it. It'll be legally protected to stop other producers from copying it. A patent must be applied for at the patent office. There's a specific office and it must be applied for. And part of the application process is to ensure that the patent has not previously been um, protected they, 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 or issued. So sometimes, uh, because there are so many people with so many ideas, uh, they may have an idea perhaps in one time period and it was approved but it just never went into production. So someone else many years later turns up with essentially the same idea, uh, but they will have to do a search of the patent office to see if anyone else had a similar idea in the past to make sure that it is genuinely original. Separate applications must be pay, uh, made uh, in each country since there is no world patent. So it's possible to have a, a patent in the UK protecting an invention, let's say. But that may not apply in the US. So a separate patent would have to be issued there. But then there's the wherever, there's um, Australia or China or Russia, Germany. They're all different uh, processes to be um, undertaken in those countries to try and, try and protect the idea as much as possible. Uh, but even then some creative people will probably find some country where 
uh, there is no such patent and they will go and make the product there. Trademarks are another way of trying to protect uh, ideas or identities. A registered trademark given to the owner uh, it gives them exclusive legal rights to use, license and sell the protected item. It's trademarked. So they have exclusive legal right to use, license or sell the protected um, item. A trademark can cover words, pictures, sounds and smells. So it's, it can cover just about anything. Um, companies, for example, when they develop their logos, they may trademark it to stop other people from using that logo. It's a piece of artwork, uh, it represents the company and we identify the company by looking at the, the logo. Sometimes we don't need to know much about the product, we know where it came from, we know who produced it. Um, popular ones would be, for example, Coca-Cola. Uh, most people in the world would recognize um, a tin of Coca-Cola from a distance. They, they would recognize it uh, without studying the, the information on the uh, container in great detail. They would recognize it simply by the imagery, which is trademarked. Um, Apple have a very powerful trademark. It's essentially an apple with a piece missing. So it's, it's like someone has just bitten off part of the apple. But but it's it's a very powerful trademark. And it, anyone who sees that symbol will know it represents the Apple Corporation. So trademarks can be issued for a wide variety as I said, words, pictures, sounds, smells, and it gives the owners of the trademark a right to use that protected item. The use of a registered word uh, in a metal tag to increase its uh, hits is an infringement uh, of uh, a trademark. Um, what I mean there is is uh, when people develop websites it's possible when developing the website to add in um, tags add in words that uh, will help the search engines to bring up that site um, so for example uh, uh, if someone is producing uh, some household product they may have tags certain words, uh, say household, would be one of the tags. So anyone just searching generally on the internet would type in household and it would take them to that particular site. Or at least it would list that site, perhaps amongst other sites, who also used that tag. But it's not permissible to use the trademarked word of a large corporation who has a trade, as I said, it is trademarked and it belongs to them. It's not right to use that word just to build up the hits on the site, to, to bring in viewers onto the site. So it would be wrong for someone who is perhaps just selling something in a local market to then include a tag for Coca Cola or for Apple or for whatever it is, uh, simply because it will bring in more hits onto their site. But of course in so doing the people who are expecting to see uh, Apple or one of the big reputable companies were surprised to find themselves on a, a small minor site wasting their time. It's not what they expected um, and it also it damages the reputation of the big companies. So it's that is not permissible. Domain names. Well, a domain name is a trademark. Is, is sorry, is not a trademark unless it is registered as such. So simply opening um, a website and, and registering um, a domain name does not mean it's um, trademarked. 
so other people could use that name. Now squatting occurs when famous names are registered as domain names. Um, for example again, let's say we take a big reputable company, a well established company and someone tries to open um, a website with that name. They try to register a name online which looks like it belongs to that company. Now the purpose of this of course is to sell the name for a profit. They're not genuine in opening the website. They just want to register the name. They, they hold the name. They're squatting. And sometimes squatters on the internet may hold hundreds, perhaps even thousands of names that they have registered, thereby stopping other people from getting those names. The only way we can get those names is by buying the names of the squatters, of the people who have bulk bought the, the names in the past. So that's a practice that happens online. It's considered illegal in many countries. It's, it's seen as wrong that people should just buy up the names, hold the names, uh, in the expectation of selling the name in the future at a profit. But it is holding names that perhaps genuinely belong to, to businesses who need to protect their image, protect their reputation and also to have um, a web presence that accurately reflects their business. Misspellings have also been used to confuse browsers. Uh, this practice is also on a weak legal footing. In many countries um, the, the legal systems in many countries don't tolerated. If, if legal action is brought against a company for trying to misrepresent another company uh, by misspelling, then uh, the intention was to cheat. And I think the, the legal system would interpret it that way. So misspelling could be, for example, um, perhaps back to Coca-Cola. Um, instead of saying C-O-K-E, C A K E, the A and the O looks very similar, so it looks like a, it's a misspelling. But in fact, it's done deliberately to try and uh, ride on on the success of Coca Cola, which of course is wrong. So those are some ideas about uh, intellectual property and how to protect inte uh, intellectual property. It's very important for inventors and for writers and for artists and for all who have got original ideas to try and protect the ideas so that they can benefit from their their hard work and their originality and so that they're not cheated by others who take uh, away those um, profits or those revenue streams. But that's all we're going to deal with here so let's leave it at that and say thank you for watching.